What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Miss Da 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 Baboon, and we are doing another reaction. This time, we are watching and reacting to, dissecting, reacting, whatever you guys want to call it. You know what I mean? We are reacting to top five countries that defeated the Mongols. <laughs> And I will say the Mongols was a uh, a powerful um, empire, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Way, way back then, that was dominating. It's like, uh, uh, I want to say it was the the like China era. I want to say it was over in that area. That they was dominating and everything. And they was pretty fucking fierce. So, uh, we're going to check it out. Five countries that defeated the Mongols. I'm excited because I don't know much that defeated the Mongols. I don't, I can't, I can't think of one that defeated the Mongols right off the bat, you know? So, we're going to watch, uh, if I'm being honest, I, I haven't spoke today. I'm completely sober. So this is gonna be fun. Um, I won't be smoking until today's tonight's stream on Minecraft, and I think that will be the only thing I'm streaming today is Minecraft. Uh, if you guys haven't, make sure you guys go check out my Twitch, Twitch.com/slash uh, Mr. Baboon Twenty Three, something like that. Okay, make sure you guys go check it out. Anyways, we go going. Go ahead and jump right into it. Okay. Make sure you like. <laughs> oh wow. That's pretty cool. The Mongol Empire is perhaps more commonly associated with victory and conquest on a massive scale than any other empire in history. But even yes. the illustrious Mongols suffered failure and defeat during their age of domination. In the early 13th century, the Mongol warlord Genghis Khan united the nomadic tribes that's of the who, Arab that's Eastern name steppe I was and up. then I embarked on an unprecedented right cavalcade of conquest and destruction. Populations were massacred and ancient cities sacked. This video on the Mongols' most disastrous defeats is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, an epic dark fantasy adventure with a compelling storyline and state-of-the-art graphics. You can choose from hundreds of champions to collect, customize, and use as you wish. The character models and accompanying artwork for the champions are all beautifully detailed. Two of my favorite are the heavily armored Cataphract and the beefy Minotaur. Pick your favorite to build a powerful team capable of taking on a cavalcade of epic bosses, who also look fantastic. The game is now cross-platform, so you can play on your mobile device or PC. And the best part is, Raid is totally free to play. So go and download this great game through the special link at the top of this video's description. And as an added bonus, you'll immediately receive 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start you on your fantastic journey. You can find me there under the nickname Epimetheus777. Good luck and see you there. A rare Mongol loss on the battlefield was followed up by an effective and brutal retaliation, such as the triumph of Jalal al-Din, Shah of the Khorasmian Empire, okay. shortly before his empire's Let's destruction. See. The Kagans that succeeded Genghis Khan continued to expand the empire. During the reign of the fourth Mongol Kagan, Monka, the country of Divyet was invaded. The Mongols sent three envoys to the Divyet, requesting free passage through their territory to attack the Song Chinese from an alternate front. These envoys were imprisoned. The Mongols then invaded, defeated the Vietnamese in open battle, and seized their capital city. The Viets adopted a scorched earth policy, destroying all usable pasture, farmland, and other strategic resources surrounding their occupied capital city. In no time, the Mongols and their horses were starving. Additionally, many began to contract malaria and suffer from the unfamiliar humid climate. As they withdrew, their force was harassed, ambushed, and directly attacked, causing massive casualties. Despite this Damn. victory, 
The Dai Viet now realized the significant threat the Mongols posed to their existence. Consequently, they began paying the Mongols tribute in 1260 in the hopes of appeasing Mongol wrath, which it did for a time. Their respite was also aided by the unexpected death of the Great Kong Munka, which triggered events that led to civil war amongst the Mongols. At the time of his death, in the West, Damn. Mongol armies had just defeated the Seljuk Turks and sacked Baghdad, okay. destroying the city and massacring its population. The ancient cities of Damascus and Aleppo were taken. Mongol envoys were then sent to demand the surrender of the Mamluk Sultanate of Egypt, huh. the last great Islamic power left standing. The envoys were beheaded and dismembered, putting Egypt in a do-or-die situation. The Mamluks were an elite class of slave soldiers who had overthrown their former masters and established a new dynasty based out of Cairo, Egypt. The Khan Hulagu, who commanded the Mongol armies of the West, received news of the great Khan's death and a summons to return to the Mongol capital of Karakoram to participate in a curl tie to pick the next great Khan. He redeployed the majority of his army by the Caspian Sea to graze, recuperate, and gather supplies during the hottest months of the Middle Eastern summer, while a smaller force of 10,000 Mongols was left behind to hold the northern Levant until his return. As this force continued to raid southwards, the Mamluks seized the opportunity and counterattacked the Mongols. The two armies met at the Battle of Ain Jalut. During the battle, the Mamluks used their superior knowledge of the terrain to lure the Mongols into a trap. The majority of the Mamluk army remained hidden until the Mongols were in a constricted area where their superior mobility was of little use to them. Initially, Ew. the Mongols had the upper hand, but the Mamluks held firm. During the fierce fighting, the Mongol general was slain, and those that could, routed. After PNC Bank believes that if a pair of goggles can help your backhand get better, then your bank should help you budget even better. Virtual wallet with low cash mode from PNC Bank. One way we're making a difference. Man, that's crazy. The great experiences you have in here, and even out here, all started here. Because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression. GMC, awarded number one in sales satisfaction by JD Power. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. Okay. We are professional grade GMC. After the decisive Mamluk okay, victory, GMC, the Mongols gotcha. were never able to gain a foothold. So it was the GMC in this fight. Ever again. Shortly after the battle, the Mongols fought their civil war. Oh, by the end of which, Kublai Khan solidified his position as the fifth Mongol Kagan, Khan of Khans, of the whole Mongol Empire. But in reality, the empire was far too big for one man to rule, especially after Kublai so Khan's wait, how conquest big of China. Was During the, the latter half of the 13th century, the regional Khans gradually became completely independent rulers over their own Khanates. Kublai Khan of the Mongol Yuan dynasty ruled over the era of the Mongols' greatest territorial extent, but that large chunk of the world I think it was kind of told me over their own. One, two, three, four, five. So it was like. Five in powers, I want to say, if I'm understanding Khanates. that correctly. Kublai Khan five. of the Mongol Yuan dynasty ruled over the era of the Mongols' greatest territorial extent, but that large chunk of the world was not enough. So, he then set his sights on the land of the rising sun. While in the final stages of conquering the Song dynasty, Kublai okay. Khan sent a modest size expedition numbering between 20 to 40,000 to conquer Damn. the island of Japan, which had ignored several Mongol demands to send tribute. The Mongols believed that it would be no trouble to brush aside the islanders' second-rate military force. They were wrong. The Mongols' first overseas invasion was met with stiff resistance, as the much smaller Japanese army correctly anticipated the Mongols' landing location. They returned to their ships and proceeded to scout different locations to land. When a severe typhoon struck the fleet, sinking many ships. The Mongols then abandoned the campaign. The following year, the Japanese executed a Mongol envoy, guaranteeing their retaliation. The Mongols completed the conquest Damn. of the Song in 1279 and began preparing a massive invasion fleet and army, which was composed of Mongols, 
conscripted Chinese, and Koreans. The army suffered from poor communication between the different nationalities and poor motivation. When they landed in Japan, both sides fought to a stalemate. For months, the Japanese were able to contain the larger invasion force and inflict heavy casualties upon it. Another massive typhoon then wiped out nearly half of the Mongol invasion fleet. This greatly aided the Japanese, who killed or captured mm. tens of thousands of enemy troops, while the Mongol commanders fled back to China. While the large invasion of Japan had epically failed, a much Damn. smaller invasion was successful the following year. That didn't go as good into plane, did it? 100 <clears throat> ships and 5,000 Mongols were able to conquer the capital of the kingdom of Champa to the south okay. of Daiviet. The Cham people abandoned the coast and fled to the mountains and jungles, waging a guerrilla war against the invaders. The victorious Mongol commander returned to China and successfully proposed a plan to Kublai Khan. A new larger army would be sent south to meet up with the southern Mongol force, mm. conquer Daiviet, and then move south to finish off Champa. The first part of the plan worked flawlessly. The Dai Viet capital was easily taken by the combined Mongol army. What but I just like, like 27 years not earlier, go. disease set in, and the Vietnamese successfully disrupted the invader supply lines. Mm. This greatly diminished Mongol army, mm. then withdrew past the Dai Viet borders. Two years later, a I feel great like the fleet disease initially is intended always, for the third invasion of Japan, wins. which was called off, and over 70,000 reinforcement troops like not were sent always to meet win, up with those that remained from the earlier wins invasion. Wins the fight. Again, for the third time, the Mongols captured the Dai Viet capital at Hanoi. A large portion of the fleet, which was supposed to fix the earlier supply line problems, okay. was lured into the Red River Delta. The large UN ships were trapped by iron-tipped wooden stakes in the shallow water. Entrances were blocked and the ensnared ships were boarded and set ablaze. This disaster hey. quickly ended the war. Most of the retreating Mongols were killed, captured, or succumbed to disease, with a small number making it home. After the war, the Tran dynasty of Dai Viet made peace with the Mongols, exchanged prisoners, and agreed to pay tribute, but remained fully independent. The multiple disastrous invasions of mm. Vietnam and Japan would end most leaders' aspirations for foreign conquest, but not Kublai Khan's. He was sick, and in his late 70s, he had completed Dang. the conquest of China, the Earth's most populous and wealthy region of his day. But he may have just wanted one more great victory before his death. The perfect what? opportunity appeared to present itself when emissaries from islands far to the south flooded into his court, requesting Mongol assistance against the rapidly expanding I mean, this is interesting. I haven't heard of some of this. Over a short period of time, the Singhasari king Kirtanagara conquered most of the Indonesian archipelago. You can probably guess how this war started. Kublai yes. Khan sent emissaries demanding tribute, and at first okay. they were ignored. But their continued presence and demands quickly annoyed Kirtanagara, who had one tattooed and his ears cut off, before sending him back. Kublai Khan was outraged. What is the key to trail running? It's never been about knowing exactly where you're going. ...and began preparing a fleet of over 1,000 war junks, manned by over 20,000 men to invade. This blatant act of hostility demonstrates how powerful Kirtanagara felt he really was. Okay. But he really wasn't. Unfortunately for Kirtanagara, Kublai Khan was not the only enemy he had made. And while the Mongol fleet was making preparations, he was overthrown by a Kadiri vassal, Chea Katawa. When the Mongols arrived for the fight, the Kadiri were pleased to let them know that Kirtanagara was history. The Mongols must have felt cheated. They had sailed all that way for nothing. And then, something strange happened. The son-in-law of Kirtanagara, who had his own troops and was holding out against the Kadiri, convinced the Mongols to join forces with him, to topple the Kadiri and restore the Singhasari Empire that they had set sail to destroy. The Mongols agreed huh. and utterly destroyed the Kadiri kingdom most likely hoping to install a grateful leader who would be indebted to them. After many of his Mongol allies died in battle, or had succumbed to tropical diseases, Rodden Vijaya turned his growing army on the Mongols and annihilated them. How did I this see revived that Singh Hasari would be known as the Mashapahit Empire. Kublai Khan died a year after this final defeat. Damn. Since the days of Genghis Khan, the Mongols had raided the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. 
but I never okay. attempted a large-scale invasion. For decades, the Mongols of the Chagatai Khanate had raided into okay. the Punjab, and sometimes held territory there. This constant raiding, sometimes on a yearly basis, had an unintended consequence. The Turco-Afghan warlords of the fabulously wealthy okay. Delhi Sultanate became intimately acquainted with Mongol tactics and strategy. After many defeats, they started to win a string of victories. Then, the Chagatai Khanate organized the largest ever Mongol invasion of the Indian subcontinent, with an army likely numbering over 100,000. At the Battle of Kili, many tens of thousands were killed on either side, including the Mongol commander. In the hard-fought battle, the Mongols gained a slight upper hand, but withdrew after their commander had died from his wounds. In the seven Ayo. years following the battle, <clears throat> the Mongols of the Chagatai Khanate repeatedly returned to campaign in the Indian subcontinent, but never in the numbers they were able to muster in 1299. Okay. In the later 1280s, both Hungary and Poland defeated armies of the Golden Horde. The Golden Horde was a Mongol successor state. Most of the Horde's population was Turkic Cumans, Kipchaks, and Bulgars. They were known to the Russians as Tartars. Hey, I will say this that dude to the left for a second. Let me know in the comments cool. of which Mongol invasions do you believe were the most disastrous. Rank them from biggest disaster to least big disaster. I'm curious to read what all of you think. I mean... Thank you so much for watching. I feel like... I feel like a lot of them was pretty, pretty disastrous. You feel me? Like... I feel like a lot of them was pretty disastrous. Um, you know, a lot of people died and such, and it was just, it was just a lot of death. You know, like death hill, death hill, death everywhere. Like it was just a lot of death, and it was just oof, just oof. But I mean, I feel like it happened. Everything happens for a reason, you know? So, it is, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know? So, but I mean, that, that was five countries, top five countries that defeated the Mongols. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you guys go check out that video. Subscribe to that channel. Make sure you guys go show, show some love in the comments. You know what I'm saying to that channel? Make sure you guys... Show some love in the comments. In my comments, make sure you guys go check out the link down in the description so you guys can do that. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Motivation is key. Positivity is key. Happiness is key. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. I'm gonna, I gotta go record three more videos. I will see you guys in the next one.